I was online a couple of years ago, like around 1 a.m., looking up old SpongeBob episodes as I was a huge fan as a kid. And the new episodes on TV they show on TV are complete crap. So after going through the bad quality videos on a forge and websites and other sites flooded with ads, I came across and upon an unofficial website that had the full episodes ad free. Okay, the quality wasn't great, but better than most of the websites. On the bottom was a link that said Spongebob Lost Episode. Being the idiot I am, I clicked on it. I thought it was going to probably be a screamer or something, but I clicked on it anyway. I was bored enough to click on the video and watch it. I totally forgot about looking for the old episodes. The episode video had poor quality, and the episode itself was pretty much forgotten by the writers. Like every episode, it started with the theme song. The title card read Patrick's Leg, with the normal fun-filled bubbles that we and letters we all know and love. The first thing that didn't seem right was that after the title card, it, the transition instead of bubbles, it was just a blur into the beginning of the episode. It started out like the harmless Spongebob episode, with Spongebob and Patrick watching the sunset. But then Patrick decides to go sandboarding, so they do so. And so far, the, it was a pretty normal episode. Then Patrick tries to decide to do some sort of trick on his sandboard, but fails. As a result, Patrick falls and loses his leg. Also, blood was coming out of it, and Spongebob goes after him to see if he's okay. During this scene, instead of the usual Hawaiian theme music, more suspenseful, serious music plays. Also, Patrick screams a little more painful scream than he usually would. Enough that I could feel it. Well, I guess that makes sense. He just lost his leg. Nothing is so too far out of the, out of the ordinary, right? Well, other than the opening and the music for that scene, it's going pretty much like the ordinary episode. With the next scene taking place at the hospital, where the doctor tells Patrick that he needs to be in a wheelchair for a while. As they walked out, Pat SpongeBob is pushing Patrick in his wheelchair when he runs into some girls. The girls started talking to Patrick because of his leg and ask if they could sign his cast as they walk away with Patrick, leaving Spongebob by himself. So far it's going like the normal episode, I don't remember what happened throughout the episode, so I'll skip some scenes. This is where it got creepy. Later in that at night, Spongebob then knocks at Patrick's door. On this scene, the background looks more realistic than usual. However, I tried to ignore it. When Patrick opens the door, Spongebob tells Patrick that he forbids him to see those girls again. Patrick gets furious, not like he does normally, but this is more realistic anger, and tells Spongebob that he hates him. The girls then leave in fear, and this is when I started to feel funny about the episode. Spongebob then screams, the unusually deep voice, something like, Oh yeah? Well, as long as you hate me, I could do this. And he starts beating Patrick's lost leg violently with a rock. Then after the screen then goes to static for a fraction of a second. Then it cuts to the next scene where Spongebob and Patrick are apologizing for something during the daytime. Except the line of the animation and the voices don't match up. The animation in this scene is very poor, as if it was on a loop. And it goes on for about a good four to five minutes. I was very creeped out, but I wanted to see how it ended. The screen then goes to black for a minute or so. Then it cuts to another forum episode where Patrick has Jeffrey jellyfish in a wagon and says, Come on, Jeffrey. Then the screen goes black again. This time, only for about, about 30 seconds and cuts to the episode of the CGI animation of Patrick cutting off Spongebob's stomach with a piece of broken coral with realistic blood gushing out. While it was on the screen with still bloodshot, dilated eyes, his mouth doesn't move, but you can hear him faintly hear him say, I knew this day would come, with an echoey voice. You can also hear Spongebob laughing for some reason. The scene then goes on for another three minutes, but nothing is heard but static, which it gets louder and louder until it's unbearably loud. Then the normal credits come on, but with every faint image and the last one still showing, oh my god, that image will burn in my mind forever. The untitled Plankton logo isn't shown like usual. After the video's over, it froze, so I had to reload the page, but it wasn't available. I couldn't even find the website anymore. When I even looked up Patrick's leg, nothing came up. I understand if you don't believe me, 
but I know what I saw. Even if it was one in the morning, what the hell was I even doing online at that time? <laughs>